Here we have a torque photo switch. It's got a big old cadmium sulfide cell in there. You can see it's got the little snake looking thing. So that makes it a cadmium sulfide cell. Uh, this one says it's thermal and we'll look at the spec sheets. It has a delay of up to two minutes switching. It's been sitting here for a bit so it's all warmed up and ready to go. And if I uh, put a box over it and time it, uh, it's going to take a little bit for it to turn the light on. So I'll tell you how long that is. Okay, that took 30 seconds. So I'll expose it to light again and we'll see how long it takes it to turn off. Alright, that took one minute. Now, these time delays are going to vary. I know when I first turned this thing on this morning and let it warm up a little bit, uh, it took uh, uh, two minutes for it to switch either on or off. I can't remember. So here's the spec sheet for the thing. You can see there are three different models. Uh, one for basically 120, 240, 277. Here is the table telling you what these are for. They claim one to, foot can one to five foot candle turn on, uh, three to 15 foot candle turn off. There's a slider on it, which uh, under the old appliance efficiency regulations in California, that are really no longer valid. You weren't allowed to have this mechanical device. You were supposed to take it off and paint a portion of this cadmium sulfide photo switch. Uh, doesn't really matter anymore. That is gone out of the Title 24 code, mercifully. Uh, and you can see that we hooked it up properly. Line in is black, red out to load, and it has a neutral line, which means that it is not powered by leakage through the load because that is not a very professional device and you'll also notice it says thermal up at the top here it's my belief that this cadmium sulfide photocell is probably hooked up to a little heater on a bimetallic strip I might be wrong but that kind of sounds uh, like the way it is and you get to this time delay on account of that and it can vary uh, quite a bit depending on the ambient temperature is it hot is it in the desert at 120 degrees air temperature or is it in Minnesota at uh, uh, 40 degrees air temperature? Uh, here you'll see it operates from negative 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This is in a cast metal case and is welded closed so I can't readily break it open to find out what's on the inside. Okay, thank you.